Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Caroline and uh, for the month of December, I've been doing daily vlogs and I've been naming them Vlogmas. So what I, what I do is I open three advent calendars and then I usually get into a haul, but I have something a little different for you all today. But let's do the advent calendars first. So we're gonna start off with the dogs. And it's uh, number 15 already. Christmas Day will be here before we know it. So I've already given the dogs their treats because I wanted to get their opinions. And uh, today I gave them the Nutribite. I gave them the beef and liver flavor. Once they had their first one, then they wanted more. So I could say that this one was a win as well. I do think they enjoyed the chicken flavor better though. So that was their treat today. I remember I bought those at Dollarama. I, I showed those in my haul yesterday. The bag was $2.50 each. So that is what the dogs got today. Now we'll go to my Star Wars. Oh, I think a chocolate just fell out. Uh, so today is 15. So 15 is right down here, little tiny 15. I do think I had yesterday's chocolate though, so I really don't know what just fell on the floor. We'll go investigate when we're done. When we are done. So I'm... Today's chocolate is the helmet again. So that's what I got. And then, as you all know by now, I do the lottery ticket as well. So 24 days to celebrate. Uh, we are looking for number 15. And I really don't have too many more to go, do I? So 15 is right there with the Christmas tree on it. We're going to peel that one back. And the scratch area is red. <laughs> I have Max and Rosie here. They were like, you know what? We do like those beef and liver uh, flavor. Can we have some more, please? <laughs> they are too cute, those little chihuahuas. Too cute. So... What did we get today? A 250,000, a 1,000, a $50, and a $30, and our symbol is a tree. So it's that one right there. So if I get three trees, it's worth $10,000. And this is my second tree. So we're gonna put a 15 in there. The other tree was just a couple of days ago when we got 13. So we got 13 and 15 for the tree. It's exciting. That's it for the advent calendars. So today was very dreary, uh, rainy, drizzly. And so this weather, this damp weather really gets my... <laughs> in a funny way gets to my nerves, but I mean, literally it does. I, like I have mentioned before, I do suffer from a neurological disease. And since coming back to Ontario, this damp weather, oh, it's like a horrible feeling. So I've had a lot of nerve pain today in my arms and my legs, but uh, that's, that's what I have to deal with on a daily basis. Just this damp weather really sets it off. So, Enough about that. I thought that I would do something different and I have been keeping my empties, empty packaging from Dollarama and Dollar Tree. And I thought it would be nice to show the empties and give my own opinion whether it was a good buy or not. So I hope that you all enjoy watching this video. Uh, please let me know in the comments below. And if you do enjoy it, then uh, we'll do it again. So, um, well, hello, Mr. Max and Rosie. <laughs> they went running out again. So I think I'll start off with the 
the bag from Dollar Tree, I seem to have gone through a lot of stuff in there. So hopefully I can remember what I have here. So the first bag I pull out was that decorative shred. Now when I put this in all those uh, galvanized baskets that I'm making up for Christmas, and the black one, I needed to put two bags in it. But the red one, I only used the one bag. So I really like this. It's a great product. And I don't understand why there was more in the red one than the black one. But just so you know, I haven't opened the blue one yet because I haven't got to wrapping that gift yet. I'm just pulling these out. So this was that uh, 250 sheet sticky notes. Really like those. I got, what was it, four or five different colors. So they're on my desk. I used them. I bought some reusable gloves and medium and, of course, pink. I used those, you know, cleaning and doing the dishes because this, uh, once the heat's on in the house, my hands get really dry and they actually crack. It's very painful. So I try to wear gloves when I can, remember. And what is this? This was the glue pen and it dries clear. And I really liked that too. Now I'm trying to think of what I used it on, but when I did use it, it gave me just enough. Oh, I know what it was. It was when I was gluing the boxes together for the elf on a shelf. It gave me just enough glue that it didn't uh, over, you know, spill over. So I would definitely recommend those. What else are we pulling out of here? My pocket puzzle. Now, I don't remember if I bought it at Dollarama or Dollar Tree, but we'll show it to you anyway. So it was a little pocket. And remember, I got the one with the pig. Well, I did make him up. And I put him in the frame just to keep them all together there. So he's cute, right? So he's in the frame, trying to remember where I bought those frames as well, but it was either Dollarama or Dollar Tree. So again, a cute little uh, little uh, jigsaw puzzle, and they were a hundred pieces. It's really well made. The it's really made on good thick like cardboard paper. So I really liked that. I don't have this in any order. I'm just pulling stuff out. I had bought these cookie thins, oats and blueberry. These were delicious. I just was snacking on them. They're, they're really tiny, little bite size, and I enjoyed them. And it's 100 calories per serving, which is uh, a serving size is 14 cookies. So I had the oats and berry, really like those. These ones were my favorite, the oats, cranberry, and orange. So those I would uh, repurchase again. They were delish. This goes in the other bag. This was a dual-sided bath pad. Okay, this was some kind of cleaning cloth that I had. <laughs> Designed for a luxurious spa experience. Use the soft side to cleanse and the mesh side to exfoliate. So I do remember that now. Uh, it was a pink color. So I actually loved this and I bought a couple of them and they haven't had any back yet. So that was a nice product for the bath, to shower. What else do we have in here? This was uh, a pack of yellow highlighters. It was an eight pack. So they were really good by as well. So my husband and I split that between us. So I would recommend those highlighters. Very good. This was a pack of binder clips. There's eight in it. And these binder clips are good for anything. You know, clipping paper together. You need to clip a bag of chips together or something in the freezer. Like I have used these multiple, multiple ways. So binder clips always come in handy. And if you've got, now these were the larger ones for a large stack of paper. So always buy these. I always have binder clips in the house. What else do we have in here? This was the paint pen. 
and I would recommend that too. You just need to look when you're buying them because you can actually see how much paint is in them. Some of them look quite empty, but this worked really well when I was painting my little snowmen here and I still have to put this together, but I used the paint pen on those little snowmen. I just don't understand why time gets away from us. They're painted and I've got the, um, the beads already. I just got to sit down and thread it through, right? But anyway, I would highly recommend this paint pens as well. I believe there was only black and white and I only bought the white because that's the one I wanted. And this was that nail polish holder and I didn't buy it for nail polish. I have it right here. It came in handy. I had it uh, between my fingers here and as I was uh, taking away the excess vinyl from when I was cricketing using my cricket machine, I would just scrape it into this. Now it was hard to clean it out, but it made life easy because I didn't have vinyl all over, you know, stuck all over me. So I would recommend that. It is supposed to hold your uh, nail polish, but I'm not a big nail polish person really. So I would recommend that. It's kind of a multi-purpose uh, item. So that's that. We're getting to the bottom of this bag. I have bought the removable hooks. These work really well. That's what's holding these pictures up behind us. So they're just um, like the 3M ones. They are holds up to one pound and there was four in the pack. Like you could even hang it in your cupboard door or something in the kitchen to hang like they they're showing that hanging up your measuring cups. So these were a repurchase. They work really well, just as good as 3M and they're only $1.25. This was the six pack of styling combs. Now, they were very thin and flimsy because I did buy um, a similar pack from Avon and I prefer the Avon ones to these. But again, just to have some combs in the house, if maybe, you know, they're there for you have visitors or whatever and somebody needs a comb or they didn't bring a comb or whatever, you could use them. But um, I wouldn't buy them again myself. But just to give you an idea of my opinion. Next thing in here was those Sophia. Actually, they were, are these from Dollarama? Anyway, this was the 24 piece. I don't remember where I bought them from. It could have been, um, I'm not sure. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Either store that they came from, the Sophia, uh, were, were good. I like them. They tie your hair up. They don't break. Then I bought that cushion brush. The big uh, kind of squared one. Really nice. I love it. That was a good buy. It has a nice rubber handle on it too for grip so it doesn't slide out of your hands. This was the Charcoal Blender Makeup Sponge, um, Sassy and Chic. That was the uh, makeup, uh, you know, the makeup sponge that uh, apply your foundation and concealer with. I really like it. I did go back and buy some more, so I have a little stash of these. All you got to do is dampen it and put your makeup on. I haven't been wearing makeup lately, though, over the winter time. I... Uh, I just keep moisturizing my face. This uh, was six feet of garland. And that was behind me here, the gold that I have the cards on. So really like that. I did buy two of them. So that was a good buy for the Christmas items. And this was a pack of the little mini trees. There was eight in it. And I really like those. They just add some more color to my little uh my little trays that I have sitting out in the kitchen and living room uh the eyeglass pouch that was a good buy that was a repurchase and it had the flamingos on it and I do keep it in my pocket with my eyeglasses in it 
just so that if I'm out shopping, I just have to squeeze it open and pull my glasses out as opposed to carrying a big glass case. So always like to have those. And this was that glue gun pad. Remember I bought that in pink? Well, once I had it out on my table, it did flatten out. So this worked well. And uh, once the once the, your glue hardens on it, you just peel it right off. So I would recommend this. They did have the blue and the pink, and I went with the pink. So that was a good purchase. I bought those... Uh, snuggle adult socks so i do wear those at night um to bed to keep my toes warm because of my nerve pain and uh i love these are they ever soft and comfy so i would recommend them for a dollar fifty yes what else do i have in here oh i'm gonna keep that one till the end I did break into the peanut brittle thin and crisp product of USA. Not the best thing for your teeth, but it was delicious. I mean, it's just a big clump of sugar, isn't it? With some nuts in it, but I really enjoyed it. I didn't eat it all in one go, but I probably could have. So I'm glad I only bought one because like I said, my dentist uh, would not be very happy, but I would recommend buying it for $1.25. A little sweet treat. Should I say a very sweet treat? Then we've got the crafty cutter. I was looking to see ooh, if it's here on my desk somewhere. This was a good buy too. I actually used it to, what did I cut with it? I was cutting some cardboard or something down to size and uh, it's the, uh, and it worked really well with the snap off blade. And the only reason I purchased it was because it was pink. I'm just trying to see where I put it there. If it was in my, in my, no, I don't see it there. It was really good. It's like in a little exacto knife. I did have to hold um, it in place cause the blade did move a bit on me, but again, a great little buy for $1.25. There's the picture off it on the back there. I remember I showed that in a haul. So great for crafting. You don't want to pull out the big heavy weight X-Acto knife. This was my colored index cards. I love them. And what I'm doing with these, I showed you yesterday that I had bought this magnetic for it. I'm just going to turn this around so you don't see people's names. But what I did was I'm putting... Uh, names and addresses on them so that I have them and uh, for my viewers and also for the YouTubers that I enjoy watching and send stuff to. So that's what I'm doing with these cards and I've color coded them so I know what's for who, right? And it sits right in there. It's really cute and it does magnet on. So the little pink thing came from Dollarama. I paid $4.00. And the index cards were $1.25 from Dollar Tree. Another item was this uh, 30 shot glasses. I bought it for the bathroom to sit beside the, the mouthwash. I prefer these plastic ones to the paper ones. So always buy those, another repurchase, and they just sit there so... I use the big uh, bottle of uh, mouthwash with the pump. So we just pump it into our little cup. Rinse and away you go. I had bought these um, Happy Swing Hazelnut. They were pretty delicious too. I did like those. It's just a nice little wafer um, cookie with some hazelnut flavor in it. So yes, I would buy those again. They were good. And this was my satin ribbon, nine feet. That is the pink ribbon on my tree here. And I would have liked to have had two of them, but they only had the one. And I was pretty happy with that. I always buy my ribbon in there, so it doesn't matter what season it is. I always go in and buy nine feet of ribbon for $1.25. So I highly recommend this as well. Yes. Now, what else do we have in here? There is 
the Crafter Square art brushes. So the little paint brushes that I bought, again, a great product for, you know, you get five pieces for $1.25. So really, you don't care if you throw them out after you use them. So I always pick up little paint brushes there, recommend that. The other thing I got was that, uh, oh, that's Dollarama. So we're gonna leave that there. Okay, and the other thing I got was, um, if you remember back in the fall there, I know it's still fall, but I'm going back September, October. I purchased the um, Iron On Art. Remember the butterfly? And I also got the black t-shirt for $1.25. And this was $1.25. So for $2.50 plus tax, I ironed this on to the t-shirt that I bought there. And I'm actually wearing it to show you, but look at how pretty this is. So that was the t-shirt that I bought. Oh, my necklace is stuck to me there. Yes, so I love it. And I just put a black cardigan over it. It's very glittery. I love it. So yes, very pleased with that. If they had any more iron-ons, I would definitely purchase them. So uh, when I did put it on, because this t-shirt is polyester and I don't know, rayon or something. So what I did was I had a towel and I put my t-shirt on and I used another towel on top to iron it on. Well, it wasn't adhering good enough so I went to my method that I use for when I'm ironing on my vinyl and that worked better so normally what I do with my vinyl is I put my vinyl on the fabric and I use parchment paper put the parchment paper right on put that iron on some heat press and it worked perfect and then of course the plastic is hot same as when I'm doing my vinyl. So I just get a pair of tweezers and I peel back slowly until the clear film comes off. And you, this is the results. Like how beautiful is that? Would you think that I paid $2.50 plus tax for this lovely t-shirt? So I am going to keep my eye out for more iron-ons. Uh, I would probably suggest even ironing it on to cotton t-shirts, but I'm really happy that it went on to this and it looks fantastic. I love it. So that's my empties from the Dollar Tree. Let's get into Dollarama. This bag isn't this big. I think because we, we were using this stuff and my husband was just recycling it, I had said to him, if when you're finished with something, I need the wrapper to save because I was wanting to do this video. So and my reason for wanting to do it today is it's garbage night tomorrow and I want to get all this into the recycling bin because I'm sure I'll have a lot of recycling over the holidays. So here we go with the Dollarama, Dollarama empties. So this parchment paper is a repurchase. I buy many, many, many of these. So $1.25 for 10 sheets. This is the size of a cookie sheet. And I always put it on my baking pans because it's, it's a no mess cleanup and your pans stay like new, they look new. So I use this when I'm cooking, baking. I put them in my air fryer, I use them there. And I have bought the roll before uh, that I do use for when I'm doing my iron-ons. So I still have my roll, It's there's loads of in this. So there's the roll, it was, uh, 30 square feet and I believe this was a couple of dollars yeah there's the price and that was two dollars so if you're needing parchment paper absolutely go to Dollarama I think it's an excellent price and it's Betty Crocker so repurchase yes 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 I have bought these uh Wet wipes for travel pack, I tend to leave them in the vehicle 
And it's good uh, even to bring one in with you to wipe down the shopping carts because they don't w wipe down the shopping carts anymore. I think uh, people are sick of all this and just not wiping down the carts, but we're never going to get rid of this if uh, we don't try our best. And that's enough for that. So anyway, I paid $1.25 for these. There was 40 pieces in this pack. So it was a bonus pack. So when I see these, I grab them. Always good to leave in the vehicle when you're out and about and you get sticky hands. I don't know why I got two of these in here. I probably put one in and my husband probably put one in. <laughs> but the Lysol Click It Gels, I love these. Um, you get three in a pack. They are $3. And so you're basically paying a dollar each. Not sure how much they would be at the grocery store. Don't know if I'm, you know, paying a good price or not. But I, these are a repurchase all the time too. I buy those for the toilets. The uh, I go in and buy my cotton pads in there for makeup removal. You get a hundred in it for a dollar twenty-five. So why not? You go into uh, Walmart or, you know, the drugstore and they're a lot more than $1.25. And I always, because I use, um, I tend to wear a lot of uh, waterproof mascara. So I put my makeup remover on the pad and I wipe off. I use these to wipe off my mascara so that I'm not dirty in my reusable ones. But very good. Always have to have some cotton pads in the, I was going to say in the kitchen, in the bathroom. And that little tube was my, uh, <laughs> that's what my little uh, puzzle came in. And like I said, I don't remember if it was Dollar Tree or Dollarama. But that little puzzle was ooh, well made. It got all this crashing down on me now. Uh, oh, that little inspection mirror that I had picked up. Uh, picked that up to leave in the transport. So, sorry, I'm just going to turn this a bit. There we go. So, yeah, I bought those to leave in the transport. They're good if, uh, you know, you're looking in the engine or whatever and you just want to get a little um, reflection of what you're looking at. So... Those are for our transport truck. Uh, this hand soap is nice product and it's lavender and it sure did smell like lavender. 500 mil. I bought this lasted us a couple of months in the bathroom. Just finished it and it was $2. So if you don't mind a gel hand soap, then this was a nice product and I like the bottle that it came in. I mean, soap is soap, right? So we, we used that up. Did take a couple months, but we used it up. I did buy the foaming ones um, from Dollar Tree and it was a pumpkin spice one and I actually is still using that one in the kitchen. This was what I bought yesterday. Um, I showed you guys that little uh, USB-C adapter that I needed for my new cable. I actually have it plugged into the phone right now because I'm charging the phone while I record. So it's working well. And for $4, yes. Yes, yes, yes. And I just bought that tempered glass yesterday. It was $2.50. Not the right size for my phone, but I knew that when I purchased it. I just bought it for now to cover it. And uh, when one comes in from Amazon, I'll replace it out. Oh, that was just the magnetic basket that I bought last night. I showed you that. It was, so it was $2.50, my little uh, basket with the three magnets on the back. Oh, that's the, the rest of that USB cable. This was the tape that I bought, uh, the transparent tape, way better than the one from Dollarama, or sorry, from Dollar Tree, because the Dollar Tree one did not last. I maybe got a handful of presents wrapped and that, it was done. This one, uh, 
is a 18 millimeter by 33 millimeter and it was only a dollar 25 so it was the same price as the tape i bought at dollar tree and you get more you get more for your money so when you need tape to wrap all those presents for next week definitely go into dollarama and buy this this was the this one was the um the dollar tree one I, like it it didn't have any tape on it at all so this one was a yes a win and this was oh yeah those little storage boxes uh you get three for three dollars repurchase because i love storing my stuff in these it keeps everything organized remember i put my uh wooden beads in them and then i put uh i don't have any of them sitting near me but i had stored um a lot of little things inside those. I also use them for extra makeup or Avon products. If I've got, you know, they, they send me samples and stuff and I like to keep my samples and that in that as well. So those are a great buy for $3. And the last item in here was that uh, bag I showed you all yesterday. Uh, it was $4 and it was the gift wrap organizer and it was excellent. I've got it full here, but I will tell you uh, at Dollar Tree, I purchased the wrapping paper with the red truck on it and the wrapping paper with um, Jack Skeleton and the Star Wars paper. Well, it's a little bit longer, so they didn't fit in it. But my other paper did, it's right here. I have it full. Oh, sorry, knocked you all over again. <laughs> that shadow you see is uh, a rocking chair leg that I need to uh, glue back together. I broke it by accident and it's an old antique. So we're going to try to repair it. But anyway, let's just tell them I'm gonna show you this. That's the tape, so it's got a lot in it. I have that in the little pocket here. Okay, I'm gonna stand up and I'm gonna put this on the chair and hope that it doesn't all fall out. Here we go. Stand it up here. I'm gonna zip up the bottom so everything doesn't fall out. All right, so I have my wrap in here. And uh, those were just the extra small pieces. They're in that front pocket. These were the ones I bought yesterday. So they're in that front pocket. But all the longer, what I did was put my brown paper on this side and my clear wrap that I have. And on this side, oh, let's open her up. This side was the wrapping paper. So if you did buy, actually the red truck does fit in it, sorry. It was, oh, it was just the, what do you call them? The Star Wars and the other one. The Jack Skeleton didn't fit in. So these ones fit, the red truck fits. I got lots of this one to use. And uh, these blue ones I had picked up as well. I'll be using those because they're, oh, for my one daughter. All right. So we're all falling out here. What I did in the two little pockets down at the bottom is I put the tape. So the tape fit into those two little pockets at the bottom. And we're losing our paper here. So we're gonna try and pick this up here. So I really like this. It's decent quality for the $4 that I paid. So definitely keep your eye out for this. It double zips, so you can actually zip it around and uh, zip it around and the two zips can be up here. I like it. I'm happy with it. And that is the end of my empties. Now, I will continue to uh, save the empties. And if you like this video, I would love to do another one. So let me know in the comments below if uh, you like to see all my empties and my opinions off at all. I, there were things I did open it and I threw the packaging out because I probably thought about this after the fact. Now, tomorrow, Thursday, vlogmas number 16, 
I do have to go to Toronto to the hospital for my IV infusions. So I don't think I'm going to be up to doing a video tomorrow night. So what I'm going to do is record it right now. And then I will post it tomorrow. So if I'm, you know, wearing the same clothes and still sitting here, then you understand why. Because after my infusion, it's going to be a very long day, takes a lot out of me, and I'm not going to feel up to doing a video when I get home. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to record it now. While I'm sitting in the hospital getting my infusion, I can edit and get it posted up. Uh, my mom is coming with me tomorrow. So have a good night. And please take care, stay healthy, bye!